Guys, let's stick with the quarterbacks, but look beyond free agency, which quarterback with an uncertain future do you guys think is most intriguing this offseason? I'll say Jameis Winston. And I remember during the season, I said, Jameis is balling, and Peter Schrager almost slapped the coffee right out my hands. Um, but he was. My coffee, you know, it's, my it's just that simultaneously he was also throwing interceptions. And I get it. Listen, people will forever talk about the 30 for 30 like it's an ESPN documentary. But I want to talk about 2020. And I'm not just talking about the year we're in I'm also talking about his vision because Jameis Winston reports are that he got LASIK surgery that means he's going to see a little bit better we've seen the images and the still shots of him squinting on the sidelines this is just speaking from first-hand perspective I know what it's like to get glasses when you didn't think you need them things are a little bit clearer and then on top of that he fixed his thumb in his throwing hand so Jameis Winston I guarantee wherever he lands he will be a better quarterback and I saw that game at the end of the season where they played the Houston Texans at home I was there in the building first pass was a pick six. First pass. Yes, it's it amazing. Was. First pass was First a pick amazing, six. Right? First pass is a pick six. So what did you see? What were you thinking game? then? In the what last. What did you see in that moment? Game? First pass, a it, pick six. In the last pass of his season was a pick six, right? Am I <laughs> yeah. correct in that? Um, I was thinking, no way, not again. But I will say this: the passes weren't thrown to the wrong receiver. They were just slightly off. So I feel like with that hand and with his eyes being fixed, that slightly off could be right on target. And he'll have an unbelievable right. year. I love that glass half full yes. answer. Yes. I love it. Glass I love it, Nate. Hypothetical. <laughs> Say Tampa doesn't resign him. They don't franchise him. Right. Do you think Jameis Winston is a starting quarterback in the NFL next season? I don't think he's going to come in um, being handed the keys of any organization. I do feel like he'll come in and have to compete and prove that he's better than whoever's there. The question is, what team has a quarterback that they would allow? somebody to come in and challenge him. Are we thinking like a Chicago Bears? Richard yeah. Trubisky needs to be pushed. Sure. There needs to be a quarterback right. that we're not quite sure of that needs that push. And you're okay if he loses his position. I, I look at Teddy Bridgewater who to me is the a complete opposite, the polar opposite of Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston is this big-armed guy who's going to throw a lot of interceptions. He's going to win you some games but he's also going to hurt you at times. Teddy might not have the, the arm or the cannon of, of Winston, but he just wins games. And it's a lot of ball control, but it's also a lot of leadership. And if I'm Tampa Bay specifically, if Jameis walks out that door, I'm really intrigued by Teddy because what Teddy brings is a maturity, a leadership, and a ability to run your team where you're not going to lose games because of Teddy Bridger. I went 5-0 and last year for the, New, for the New Orleans Saints. And of course, now everyone's saying, is he a starter? Is he a backup? Is he a top 10 quarterback? I believe Teddy Bridgewater deserves a chance to start in this NFL again, and I think Tampa Bay would actually make a lot of sense if they move on from Jameis. I think we all want him to get that chance after being finally healthy and everything from that horrific injury. Yeah, right. Guys, selfishly, I'm taking Phillip Rivers. Go for it. Mm. Eli's coaching his daughter Ava's basketball team, <laughs> or helping to, as he told us. Uh, we know that Ben's coming off elbow surgery. For, for completely selfish reasons, I'm curious where that guy still has a big arm goes in Phillip Rivers. I covered that 2004 draft. It seems much more closer to yesterday yeah. than as many years that it's been, but I want to see where Phillip ends up for his second act. Act, which may be a short one, but I hope it's successful. All the talk, sake. all the talk was indie. Does that make sense to you, Kim? It does, I think, right? And hey, I'll tell you that what? You're an older quarterback, you need protection. Best they got line, it, right? they got it. And Quentin Nelson, as we know, leads the way. You're right about that. Listen, don't you guys go anywhere. We have one hell of a show for you. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Will a new head coach mean success for this power couple here in New York City? Peter, you talked to this new head coach, right? Joe Judge? How did you feel about Joe? Good man. Good man. I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, me neither. And listen, and if you watch the Combine, Jamal Adams, he had a whole list of free agents that he wanted to come to the Jets. It's free agent season, but it's also recruiting season. The question, will they actually land here in New York? We'll break it all down. Josh?